My beginning years were interesting. I'd been an assistant for several years and we'd had a good amount of success. And then I took over in 2009 and we were going through a number of transitions. And so we had to work hard to kind of change the way that we looked at our recruiting and really everything. It started with getting the best Virginia kids. That really is something that we had done in the past and we just reconfirmed that that is something that we need to do. I thought that we had a really talented team in 15. A couple things didn't go our way and we weren't able to make the tournament, but I think it set us up for 16 and that, that run that we had uh, to the Elite Eight. But when we knew that we were going to play Wake Forest in the Elite Eight game, we knew that we had a huge hurdle in front of us. That's a team that we've only beaten one time uh, in my tenure here as an assistant or as a head coach. We knew that we were going to have to play really, really well and get a couple of breaks. And really the way the game started, I thought that was going to happen. I thought we had a couple of good opportunities to score goals. We didn't capitalize on those, but still held our own. And that set a great foundation for 17 for the you know back-to-back -back NCAA tournaments and, and getting back-to-back uh, -back home games and wins. One key aspect, I think, is not the quality of the player, even though I think that our players have quality. It's the kind of person that we're recruiting. I and mean, we're recruiting great kids, kids that you enjoy being around, they love being around the team. You can do a lot with that. I mean, it's a great recipe for success. And, uh, and we're, we're grateful to have that.